Hey guys, what's up everyone? Hope you're having a hope you're having a wonderful day so so far. And um and uh this video is the part two to my to my previous video where I'll be talking about my favourite my favourite parts basically my favourite parts of the musical Hairspray. If you if you haven't watched watched uh, part one to my to my uh, video video yet, you have to do it so that you could so that you could grab the concept of the of the story and basically know what's going on. So, for this video, I am going to be talking about the characters and and about my own personal and I'm going to be talking about my own personal opinion about them. Basically what I like and dislike about them. But I'm only going to do it but I'm only going to gonna do gonna do the main characters. The characters that that are basically uh cause an impact on the store on on the story and follow the and follow the story of the musical along so we and uh and also i'm going to be talk i'm going to be talking about i'm going to start with my least fa favorite and go all the way up to my to my most favorite okay starting off with this list is penny 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 is the best. Is uh, is is Tracy's be best friend in the mu in the musical, but she doesn't really do very much. She just stands there. She base she's basically there just to be the best friend. She doesn't do anything anything to the story. Well, she is quite cute, quite cute, and she is. And uh, she is actually quite, quite, quite sweet and quite romantic, but she doesn't really do anything, anything for the plot. She's, although she does, she does give, give, um, give Tracy sanctuary within, within her, within her home, within her home with a secret room when the police go, go after her. It is quite lovely. She is quite a lovely, lovely friend, and she does thoroughly support support Tracy in in being on the dance show, but she doesn't really do anything. She doesn't really do anything. But I have to say, the most the most thing what I do like about her is that she is a bit rebellious. She is a bit of a rebellion. She does go. She does basically go. Go go to the go to the uh black, the uh the uh town where the black community live, and she does, and she does go against her mother's mother's wishes. So, yeah, I do quite like that. I do I do like that about her. But but apart from that, there isn't very very any anything very very much about her character really. Although she do, she doesn't have any any uh, character grow, growth within the story, but she she is quite nice. She's quite nice, but but uh, she's not very interesting. She she's just not particularly interesting. The next less interesting character is you're gonna hate me for this, Link. Yeah, Link is just there being being the hot being the 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 um basically being the uh heart the teenage heartthrob for every for every girl. And he is one of the most greatest dancers on the on the dance show and I do quite like that. But he is a really good dancer. I'll give I'll give him credit for that. But he doesn't really do very much. When he when he try when 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 Tracy tells him to to tries to persuade him to go to go to go out to go out and fight and, and fight for what's right, 
he just backs away from her. And when and when she does event and when Tracy gets into trouble with the police, she she just he just basically is suddenly in love with her. Yeah. Yeah. He's not very he's not really that smart that that smart to be honest. Yeah. He's not really that good. Yeah. He's not really interest interesting. But but yeah, but yeah. He is a very good dancer, but there isn't much to much to him. He's just a very kind and caring and caring guy. Guy. But uh but he does but he does stand up for Trey. But he does stand up for Trey for Tracy and gets into the same detention class as, as she does. But it doesn't, but he doesn't really do very much, apparently. So, yeah. So, yeah. But, anywho, moving on to the, moving on to the, to the next character, which is Edna, which is uh, Edna Tur Turnblad. Edna Turnblad is the mother to... Is the mother to Trey Tracy, and she is basically a very very shy shy woman woman who has basically stayed in her house for for about eleven years since nineteen fifty one, and the story takes place in nineteen sixty two. And basically, when she was, after she married, she started eating a lot and becoming overweight. So, she hasn't really set foot out of the, out of the house. That is, until, until, Tra until Tracy tells her that it's okay. And people who are different, that she can, their time is coming. So... So she doesn't really go outside on her own. She gets she basically gets persuade gets persuaded by by Tracy to do so. Yeah. Yeah, I would say it's a bit. Yeah. But I have but I have to say she she does get a fabulous ma makeover and she does go and she does get a little bit more more confidence after after the musical number. And she is really, and her dancing is sick, is awesome when she, when she dances to You Can't Stop the Beat. It is an awesome song. It is, yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna, but I'm gonna go into more, more depth into that, into that when I get, when, when I get to it. So, so, Okay. So next up, next most interesting character is is seaweed. I actually really, really love. I actually really, really love seaweed. He, he's a black, he's a black teenager, probably about the same age as Link, and he is basically very. And he basically lives with his mother mother and, and sister and younger sister and not but he is a really 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 good dancer he is incredible i can't wait to see who who's going to be playing sea seaweed in the production of hairspray so anyway not just because he seaweed is a good dancer it's because he is he is, he has just, he just has a very, very sweet and kind and care and caring heart. And he will go, he will go the lengths to, to, to basically, to basically protect, protect the, the people that he, that he loves. And, and hell, <clears throat> and he, and he would even go, go lengths to, uh, to basically fight for, to basically fight for the, um, for his own rights since he's a black man. 
<clears throat> yeah. And that's what makes him a really, really wonderful character. And I love him. Meanwhile, and if I was single, then I will definitely have him as my as my boyfriend. <laughs> he is just the be the best male character in the mu in the musical. Okay. Uh next up is is Miss is Mrs. Mon Montussel and her do and her daughter Amber. <clears throat> Basically technically these characters are very are mostly very, very me mean, mean to the changing to the changing community around them. And uh I think the reason and and Mrs. Mon Montussel, the manager of the um of the uh show, is basically is basically very, very racist. And she thinks that every that every single man and woman should be should be white and skinny. It's because she and the reason, and I think the reason why she is, because when she was younger, she used to be, she used to be a um a pa a pageant winner. She used to she used to win lots of beauty pageants, so and she was known as Miss Baltimore Crabs, and yeah, even though, and and Abba is also walking in her mother's footsteps. She has she has won this dance this beauty com competition three times three times each year and uh and uh even though even though both ladies are are both blonde skinny and very and very glamorous I think deep down deep down they have they they have a heart of ice and they just don't care about other about other people who are who are different from them. Yeah, and that's why and that's why and that's why he doesn't and that's why she doesn't really doesn't re take it quite hard to to tra to Tracy when she tries to audition for the for the show. And that's why, and that's why she also she also chucked the uh, black people off of off the show and cancelled Negro Day, and that is just awful. That is just awful. I think it is just straight up racism. And Amber is just is is also as bad as her as her mother. She is just awful. She's just an awful son of a bitch she is just a really really horrible woman yeah she may be beautiful on the outside but on the inside she she's a monster yeah and i really hate people who are like that who are racist however okay Okay, moving on to my to my second favorite character, and that is Seaweed's beautiful mother. I love this character. I love this character. She, I, I believe she is the queen. She is the queen bee of the black community, and she is just awesome. She has an amazing singing singing voice and she gets this and her character is very is so amazing. She is very strong and determined and and she just doesn't give give up and just wants to give and just wants to give her and just wants to give give herself and the black community the best the be the best fair life possible. And she's always willing, and she and she is always willing to fight and stand and stand up. And she, 
and stands up for the black community and she just treats them like 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 she like she's her family like they're her family it's really really sweet but i and i and i'm all and i also really love her really love her outfits she's a bit like she's a bit like the the black version of of mrs montussel she is both very very glamorous and i think she is just amazing she is an amazing char she is an amazing character and i think she and she is and she just wins and she would win the mother of the year for me she would get my vote okay and finally my favorite character in the whole musical is tracy turnblad Oh my god, where to start with Tracy? Tracy is a young is a young teenager about 17 or 16 and she dream and she dreams that that one day she'll dance on on this teenage dance show and because she just wants to be famous. Despite even though she does get a little bit hurt by her by by people telling her about her about her size and weight she doesn't she doesn't give a cut she doesn't care she doesn't care what what other people think about her appearance she just wants to she just wants to have fun she just want, wants to have fun she just wants to have the most fun that she can possibly can but but also but also she but also she thinks that that everyone that everyone every human being should be should be treated equal equally not to be treated like second class citizens she believes that everyone has has um they have uh, human human rights all over the world no no wonder if no matter if you're black or or Chinese or Russian, Japanese or Brazilian, Mexican or African or Asian or somebody that needs to lo to lose a few pounds she she believes that all those pe that all people should should have equal equal rights and have and always have have the freedom to to have to have fun to have the most fun as possible and that's what i love about and and that's what i what i love about tracy and she just wants to make the world a better place and for everyone to live to live in peace and harmony yeah and that's why Tracy is my favorite favorite character in the mu in the musical and she's also very strong and very determined she's got a heart of steel her her insides her insides are just ma made of iron and steel and it will take and i believe it will take a few a few bombs and guns or weapon weapons to take her down yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so that is my discussion about about the characters in hairspray sorry if i missed anything and any characters out but but this but this video is getting a little bit lengthy so so uh to wrap this up all that I'm going to say is thank you very much for watching. Give this video a good thumbs up. Give it a like and subscribe. And also share it with your friends and family. And for those and for those people, people who love who who loves musicals, as this would be a bit of bit of an education for them. And pop a lovely little comment down 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 below. And I'll see you later.
and I'll see you later guys. Thank you and have a magical day.